coming from a non programming background first i learned the computation thinking in the foundation level then the python ah. the sudarshan i ah, yes sir very favorite i know him the most ah. because it never felt me like oh, i'm watching a lecture it always felt like i'm listening to a story it was definitely difficult i used to had my college classes in the mornings so i used to study iitm classes in uh, late night and early mornings Hello everyone today we have Prajakta with us she is a brilliant student she has won gold medals and rising from a phoenix we will see her story in this podcast so prajakta first of all a very warm welcome here thank you how are you feeling today i am feeling very great it's truly an honor to be here today wonderful so prajakta uh, first question that uh, we all want to know is that can you please share a little bit of your story before uh, joining this iit madras bs degree okay sure so um i am starting from very beginning yes. from my childhood okay so when i was a child from class first to class 4 I was a very average student. Uh, I used to live with my nana nani because both my parents are the teachers. Okay. And they didn't want to leave me alone at the home. So one day randomly my mother found out that I was getting very average marks. Mm. So she got surprised because as a teacher her, herself she thought that I teach other children why not my own. Yeah. Sure. So So whenever she visited me at my nani's home, um, most most probably to the Sunday, so she make me to sit and teach me some basic concepts of the maths. Okay. And I was like, why mama doing this all instead of taking me to the garden to the play? But unknowingly, that uh, that thing helped me a lot to build the strong foundation. Mm. and that's what the main time when i start developing an interest in the mathematics and then from class 5th onwards i really started enjoying doing the sum all alone and all those thing and gradually my performance began to like increase like an exponential graph and um, from then i performed really well in the class 10 got 93 percentile and uh, then at the end of the 11th class like um, the covid pandemic was there so during the class 12 i got infected during the second wave of it oh. and it really took 3 months of mine to get recover from all of that stuff so it indirectly affected my jwp preparation mm. i had given ms to cet that time which is a state level entrance examination for entering into the engineering colleges but my parents was a bit concerned about my health so they told me to stay in the town so i decided to join a local college okay. which is affiliated to the north maharashtra university yeah. and i am decided to go with the bachelor in the mathematics because i was interested in the mathematics from very beginning mm. so uh, i joined it and during the first semester i always thought like i have that much potential still why i am in this small town why i am doing this and all this shit so um one day i visited uh, sorry uh, so when saying that inner calling kind of yeah so i go to my department head and um, he yes. said ki relax don't think all this shit go to the home and search something application of mathematics then i came home and i opened the youtube and uh, while searching for that i came across a video hmm. where a senior of us uh, given the interview like it's was a feedback type story of this degree like how can do two degrees mm. together and that was the first learning point i got to know what is meaning of the dual degree yeah. and at the ending of the that video i decided that i have to do this degree this online degree and my traditional degree together okay. so second semester of my degree 
uh, from then I started this IIT Madras BS degree program. Hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. So that's how I yes, starting from that point, then it continued. Yeah, then it continued, and right now I'm done with the one diploma, hmm. and in the next term I'm starting with my degree level. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So, Prajakta, uh, we also got to know about your academic success. So, the traditional yeah. degree that you were pursuing, I heard that you received gold medal in that. Not not only yeah. the your niche, but also I think overall. So, can you please share the story behind that? Yeah. So, um, I got admitted. Like, I took an admission to the local college. Ah. But still, I made most of that. Like I build up my pure mathematics ke concept very clearly, which is useful for our uh, machine learning as well. So it helped me a lot, and I studied well, and that's make me to secure the first position in my BSc mathematics branch, uh, which give me first gold medal, and second is for securing a uh, first rank. In overall BSc, ah. in all the branches. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So mm -hmm. then, while and you were doing this degree, did you face any difficulties during the assignments, the deadlines? Because you were doing both of them. It was definitely difficult. I used to had my college classes in the mornings, like uh, at ten. So I used to study IITM classes in. Uh, late night and early mornings so that's how i completed my assignment it was hectic but i never uh, felt forced because i truly love the subjects mm -hmm. it's never felt discipline. me like a burden and all yeah. those things they say when you love something that you want to do you don't feel like doing it at all you just enjoy doing that yeah that's yes. happened to me very nice project also while uh, studying uh, while in, during this degree uh, can you please share who was your favorite professor and uh, what subject did you enjoy learning the most like uh, me coming from a non programming background first i learned the computation thinking in the foundation level then mm -hmm. the python ah. the sudarshan i ah, yes, sir very favorite i love him the most ah. because he teaches the concept in very beautiful manner. You will so never forget. There is passion that. when he talks, when he teaches you, right? He just enjoys the yeah. subject himself. Yeah. So it never felt me like a, I'm watching a lecture. Yeah. It always felt like I'm listening to a story. Wow. So it he's my favorite professor okay. till now. And uh, it went smoothly for you too. Yeah. Very amazing. So, yeah. and uh, during this uh, whole degree while you were doing, um, Prajakta, is that any part that you would like to share with other students? You know, maybe as an advice or uh, anything from your experience that you would like to share to them? I would say um, whatever you want to do, just start putting all your efforts in it one day you will get all the success that you needed that's just keep going for it mm. also that Prajita, recently you have uh, got an admission to NCT, yeah. yeah your future plan. Got, could you please share I got, yeah yeah sure i got an admission for the ms at isa pune in mathematics and computing this is basically through the jam entrance examination and the departmental subjective and objective test. Okay. So how did so, you prepare for jam while doing this degree? So see, the syllabus of the jam is like pure maths, which already cover from my traditional BSc mathematics degree. Ah, okay, okay. Hmm. And if uh, like uh, and the higher concept of it which covers in our, our subject like math one math two stat one and stat two that helped me a lot because you know the level that i got in the iit madras 
that was something uh, made me crack the jam entrance examination oh so how did this uh, degree helped you crack that jam can you please uh, share some insight yeah sure uh-huh. like see um the way i was doing this traditional bsc mathematics degree they teach the concept like linear algebra and all those things uh-huh. but uh, not in that depth which i got from this degree like you can see the subjects like the math one math two mm-hmm. the live session taken by them instructors instructors the revision session before our quizzes uh, all those, those things sessions and all. all yeah so i just um stay consistent best that lead me to do this and for like uh, subjective cracking of the iceb one exam i did a lot of the practice of all the traditional proofs and all those thing they don't used to ask you directly a pre written theorem hmm. they were going to mix two three theorems okay. and then ask you to give okay. the proof that is happened here oh very nice so you would say that practice was your key to success yes. consistency and practice yeah consistency practice and as a dual degree student type management is also a important wow. thing yeah please share with all of us how did you manage the time because it becomes very hectic like two degrees are there and then you were preparing for jam also so all of these things you were doing so skillfully just share your secret with all of us yeah yeah sure uh, so like uh, this was my second attempt for the jam entrance examination uh last year i uh, just because of one marks like i uh, didn't get that but it's okay like i done it well uh, so during my the uh, for the time when as well uh, i will like i had my college classes from the 11 pm okay so i used to wake up 11 am so i used to wake up at 7 am uh, will st- used to study till like uh, 10 30 oh. and then will go to the bath uh. and then uh, my uh, best friend used to come to my home uh-huh. and shouted by my name then i used to i uh, like Our used to go with really the help a I lot think. while preparing right it makes the ride more easier the whole journey of prepare, preparation yeah so that's all matter and late night speed up hmm. because like you have the deadline at the 12 so you need to be all that things done before it right so after coming from the college from 5 pm i used to study for it till 10 then you used to submit the assignment and uh, for the first uh, starting semester it really felt like a task then it got smooth mm-hmm. for me okay wonderful so you were uh, and when did this idea of you know giving jam appeared was that in your uh, mind much before or uh, during the process you just thought that okay let's give jam and uh, let's see uh, where does this road leads to like during the second year of my like when i was in the second year of my bsc degree our uh, department ha- had introduced us this examination what was the jam uh-huh. what will happen if you secure a nice rank i got a rank of 2k wow so so because of him i got to know about the jam examination mm-hmm. very nice you uh, like you know uh, sometimes you need the right people in your life to show us the right path the guru factor comes in the mentor that is why you need them in your life right to give you direction otherwise we feel like there are so many scattered ways which one to choose yeah so who was that for you? All... Uh, the teacher who told you about jam yeah the teacher who told me about the jam and his name is professor satar sir okay yeah and my mom also helped me a lot to manage my things like half of my things were managed by my mom uh, when i was doing the dual degree also my center is too far from my town it approximately 150 kilometers oh my god 
so it is a task quiz but... days to must be very hectic for you <laughs> it is very hectic still but now i am going to pune it will be smooth somehow yeah. i got nice friends uh, at the center place so they told always you told me like you can stay at a art place so it got nice such a beautiful uh, journey you have prajakta yeah Amazing. so so why... all the people mm-hmm. yeah, in the yeah, my yes. life did. so all the people in the my life contributed in this journey without like support you can't do anything right that totally. support is moral support is important yeah definitely definitely that is how yeah. a person yeah. just rises and moves towards success yeah wonderful hmm any other thing you want to share um no almost done all it is very nice hearing your story because girls who come from small town i also come from a small town only and uh, we i love to you know interview those people those girls like you that actually can show that yes so many you just see huge dreams and it's possible to be successful in life you just need some patience consistency and dedication and you can manage yeah, that like you did yeah wonderful project that wonderful it was you huh? don't need a big city or like a fancy college to chase your ah, dreams yes exactly that mm-hmm. uh, that's all i like think because of this iit madras based program it make it possible for anyone to grow from a remote city as well ah. it is definitely a very you know how do i say a very nice opportunity reaching out to so many people yeah you just have to put a consistent effort in it and you'll rise shine through yeah <laughs> yeah nice nice that's true nice lovely it was having you thank you so much